Welcome to Lesson 85 Math Marbles. This is Reflections on a Coordinate Plane. That means we're going to have some polygons on graph paper again, and we're going to reflect the image to make another image. So for this lesson, watch how we understand that every point of an original image is equidistant from the line of a reflection. In other words, if you're standing in front of a mirror, your reflection has that same distance away. We're going to use that when we're drawing the reflected lines. We're going to use distance. Then we're going to understand that reflections preserve shape, size, and area. In other words, those things will not change. The shape will stay the same, the size, the area, and the perimeter. The only thing that's going to look different is it's going to be in a different location on our graph. Watch how we identify the coordinates of every single point. That's going to be the biggie for today and how we can describe a reflection using the line of reflection. Math Marvels, we're talking about reflections today, looking in the mirror, what do we see? What do we notice? And we're going to look at shapes and what they look like when they are reflected. So take a look at these two and I want you to look at the blue figure and tell me which one looks like a reflection of the blue figure. If this was our mirror, our line, which image would be true? Okay. It would be this one over here. This would almost be like, can you imagine if you were staring in a mirror and smiling and you saw just the back of your head and you were facing this way? That wouldn't make any sense. So when we see a reflection, we'll notice that we'll have the same exact image, but it looks like it's flipped over. The other thing I want you to notice is the distance between the points on a mirror and noticing that these distances will be the same for all the points in the figures. Here you can see it's not true where this point is very short to the mirror. This one is far away. So that's why this one is not a reflection. All right, let's look at some more reflections. Here we have reflections on a graph and I want you to pretend that these lines where you see them, these are mirrors. And imagine if this was a mirror, what would the reflection look like? Would it just look like the same thing this way? Would that be true? Or would it look like something else? So here are four different reflections and four different mirrors. And I'm going to show you what it looks like reflected over. Okay. Take a look. What do you see and what do you notice? So in this first one, you can see that they are opposites of each other. It's like an upside down image. This is our X axis. So when we reflect over the X axis, it just looks upside down versus the Y axis. Our Y axis is up and down. So again, it just looks flipped. And almost like if you were to fold it in half, they will be exactly on top of each, kind of like your hands. If you, when you fold them together, your thumbs meet each other. But when you put them side by side, they're opposites. Same thing is happening here. Here is a flip on a diagonal where Y equals X. And here is a flip, the opposite flip where Y is a negative X. And you're not going to see these until eighth grade. But I want to show you what flipped images can look like on a graph because we're going to do some graphing stuff. Hope you're ready. Let's look at this one. What kind of reflection do we have? Where would you put the mirror looking at these? Where do you think the mirror is? This is the mirror here or is the mirror here? What do you think? Well, it makes the most sense that our mirror is here around our Y axis. So it is reflected across the Y axis and something you notice, notice how our points like here's a, here's also a with a little dash. That means this is the reflection. Because you see these little dashes on them and this is the original. The other thing I want you to notice is notice how these parts here, the bees are both the same distance from the mirror, from the reflection. They're both one away. These are both one unit away. 
Same thing with A and A prime. They're both one away. And C and C prime are one, two, three, four, five. These are six away from the mirror. And that's another way of noticing where the mirror is. It was halfway between the two closest points. It was in the middle of our two closest points. Hit pause and drop this down into your notes. Let's look at one more. So using what we're seeing, what would the new coordinates of this trapezoid be after we reflected over the Y axis? So our mirror, is going to be in the Y axis, which is right here. So watch why I use this information and distance to figure out the other point. A is one away. So A prime is going to be one away. B is one, two, three away. So one, two, three. Here's B prime. C is the same thing, is three away. So I'm gonna do the same three away for C prime. And D is one away, so D prime is one away. And I use those points to graph it. Here's, I'm gonna connect all the lines. And there is our new figure. Here was our original figure, just so you can see it. And I'm putting this down, each new point is the same distance from the line of reflection. Hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Okay, Math Marvels. That's it for today's lesson, and I will see you in the next one. Be well.